All right, now here, we got a nice little setup that I made. This is for reverse uh, leg lifts. Of course, I just have a yoga pad piled up on here. The important stuff is right here on the ends. I literally used 2x4s along with a 2x10 to uh, create a box for the, lo for the uh, safety pin for the power rack. And underneath, you can see there are two other pieces of 2x4 to create a solid bottom to this box so that the pin loads in through the hole and there's nowhere this can go. You can move about a quarter of an inch and that's it. So it's secure here and I've got six wood screws, six two and a half inch screws on each of these blocks holding them in as well as these uh, horizontal ones so they are very very secure. This thing's not going anywhere. On the other side I made the same thing but the weight's all on this side right here. So when you're over here, your, your, your weight is over here. This is what's holding you down. If this isn't secured, this whole thing can flip up. Over here, I put just two horizontal pieces of 2 by 4s with no boxed in part on the bottom so that I'd have a guide to lay it down on for easy loading. And it also makes it slide smooth. You notice I can't really make this thing go off center, it pretty much moves as a single unit, and that's really that's really convenient. The uh, these thick up the thick pads right here are really cheap, and they're a lot more comfortable than a wooden edge. So unless you want your junk to really hurt when you accidentally lay down wrong, I suggest using this. And that's really it. That's all I got to say about the reverse. What's that? No, 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 no! Don't run away! Don't run away! That would have worked better if you had locked the door. No hurting the junk? No hurting the junk. All right, you heard it from kittens first. The kitten council and horses, no junk hurting. Very important. All right, so this man out. Okay, my initial attempt to get on here failed miserably because this thing's just too high. I would suggest putting yours slightly above hip level and makes it much easier to get onto. I have a step stool here, so I position myself to where my hip joints are just past the end, so they're off of this whole thing, so you want your back to be able to curl under. This is an exercise primarily for your lower back, and it does hit the hamstrings and the glutes, so it is pretty well inclusive in the posterior chain, but this is where it all begins. And as you can see, I'm scared here, I just can't come up. So, bring back, hold, 1001, 1002. It's important to let the hips curl under. For me, that's a little uncomfortable, so I bend my knees and then I straighten back out as I go back up. Talking bullshit out, and that makes us a wrap. So, good man out.